What up, everybody? Welcome to Music Blueprint. As you can see, I'm on a boat. And if you've seen my social media and you're like, where the heck is this girl at? I am in the middle of nowhere, Mexico. Like, literally in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we docked out of... Docked? I don't think it's technically docked. We came out of La Paz, Mexico, which is just north of Cabo. And then we've been hitting up all these little islands along the way. But literally, I'm in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> and it's a pretty fun vacation, honestly. Uh, I haven't taken a vacation in a really long time. And I'm way, way overdue. But that brings me to today's episode, which is living your dream. I know that's a very broad topic to talk about and sometimes very a very hard thing to grasp if you're a person that isn't currently living your dream. You know, you might be thinking about, oh gosh, like here we go again or, you know, maybe you just don't feel encouraged to live out your dream. I don't know. But I think there's two things that I have used throughout my life to be able to live my dream. And the first thing is have a plan. And the second thing is execute. It really just comes down to those two things. And I know that that's sometimes for some people really difficult. Um, but the first thing that I would do, as I've said, is have a plan. And what I used to do, I don't do it so much anymore. And maybe I should this week after talking about this topic is I used to write down specifically what my goal was or what I was trying to get at. So for you, if it's like, you know, I just want to be a full-time musician and that would be living my dream or I want to travel or, you know, whatever, whatever it is, write it down because every goal unwritten is just a dream. So when you write it down, it becomes, it comes into fruition and it, it's an action that you're making and then that becomes your focus. And so then after writing it down, every time I went to go do something, for instance, let's say, I don't know, go to a friend's birthday party or, uh, I don't know, go to a certain session, I would look back at my notes and make sure that everything I was doing was aligning to my goal. So for instance, if a certain session wasn't going to further me towards my goal, either you know, either being honing my skill as a songwriter or just making a strong connection with a fellow musician or whatever it could be. If that wasn't helping me get closer to my goal, then I wouldn't do it. Now, obviously there's exception to the rules. Like you don't want to be a jerk and be like some clout chaser that, you know, only hangs out with people that can further your career and stuff like that. That's definitely not the thing. And also at the end of the day, you never know who's going to be the person that puts you on, right? It could have been the one person that you're like, man, I, I did a session with this person one time and, you know, it wasn't even that great of a session, but you know what? We had a really good time and now look at, they helped me out and got me a sync deal or they helped me out with X, Y, Z. Like you never really know what's going to happen. But I think a lot of times when life gets really crazy, we forget about our goal and we forget about our end game. And when you have it written down and you have it in front of your face every day, like I would put it on my whiteboard. Like every time I woke up, I would see it on my whiteboard or I would, you know, put it in my phone. Like when I opened up my phone, maybe my notes, like I had it written at the top of the things that I had to do that day. I would put at the top of what my goal was. Um, and for a person like me, that's very type A that likes working it helps me remain focused and not get caught up in all of the things that I just like to work to do. So sometimes when you're a worker bee like myself, you just work, 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 work. And yeah, you'll end up getting somewhere, but it's not laser focused. Um, and it'll end up t making you, or it, it'll end up taking you longer to get where you need to go because you're just constantly working and not working with a specific focus in mind. Um, don't get rid of the work ethic. The work ethic is great, but, uh, sometimes that also leads you down paths that you don't really need to go down. And if you're a person that is not motivated and you're not a worker bee, maybe you have the skill set of picking the right things, but then you don't have the motivation. So possibly what might help you is if you have it written down and you see it every day, you're motivated, motivating yourself to get going. Um, and then the second thing is just execute. Like every, 
every time you put your hand to something, be a person of action. Don't lay back. Don't, you know, oh, well, I was going to do this and then I didn't. Well, look, if you didn't do it that day or if you didn't do it in the timing that you needed to do, then do it at 3 a.m. in the morning until you get it done. I mean, you have to be a person of action. Again, I've, I've talked about this in some of um, my other podcasts, which you can check out here. But it, you're your own business. So you don't have anybody behind you kicking you into gear. I mean, if you're lucky, you might have a manager or maybe a lawyer that like kind of works as a manager or whatever. But Or possibly maybe a spouse or something, girlfriend, I don't know, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. But at the end of the day, the buck stops with you. And if you're not a motivated person to get it done, you either need to surround yourself by people who motivate you, you know, get your surroundings in the right kind of thing, or maybe this isn't the career for you. I don't know, but you have to figure out a way to motivate yourself and you can't constantly rely on other people. So you either need to get some positive things. Maybe you do like a positive meditation every morning or you have a mantra that you do. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Um, I'm personally not like that. I wake up in the morning and I am motivated to work. Now, my problem is, is I'm not I'm constantly just working and I'm, and I'm not laser focused. Like I'm just getting things done. I mean, I'm laser focused in what I'm doing. It's not like I'm doing things outside of my field, but sometimes it's really hard for me to say no, especially to the people closest to me. Um, I, I tend to like, Oh, my one friend really wants to write with me. Okay, I'll do it. And then I end up writing with that person like five times in a month. And it's like, I could have just written one time with that person and you know, fulfilled my obligation as a friend, but also not take it up so much of my own time that, you know, my opportunities for such bigger things, you know, I didn't have the time because I gave up my time to somebody else. You see what I'm saying? So it's all a balance game. I mean, don't be a jerk about it. Like don't, you know, again, don't be a clout chaser. Like that's not the kind of person you want to be at the end of the day either. But there's one thing in life that you never get back and it's time. And so you have to be really specific on your time, really, again, I've I've said this a few times already, laser focused on what you're trying to do, Um, and then just move along, move along and just execute and do the things you need to do. It's pretty simple. Um, But again, I would really encourage you guys, write write down your end goal. And what I even did too is I, I wrote down my end goal and then the things, you know, the blocks or the markers that I needed to do to get to that. So for me, it was like, like still my goal is to sell at the Staples Center in, I think I'm at like two years now. So I wrote down like, okay, I need to build a bigger social media presence. I need to get financial backing. I need to um, get streaming numbers. I need to start collabing with artists. So like I wrote down like all these different things. And as I'm chugging along, I'm starting to like try to check off the boxes. So Hopefully that helps um, to live your dream. Honestly, if I wasn't living my dream, I w- probably wouldn't have been able to come on this vacation um, because one, if I was working a nine to five job and I was just paying bills and whatever, there's no way I'd be able to take off time to be able to go do this. And you know, even beyond this boat trip, I extended my trip a little bit longer just to spend some time in Cabo as well. So living your dream is a great thing. And it's a great life to live when you are centered in your purpose. So hopefully that helps. I'll see you guys next week and uh, try to write down some things that you want to accomplish in your life. Okay, peace.